For this lecture, we're going to create this menu using Bootstrap 4. We're going to have our home page, our stocks page, and we're going to add search bar as well. And by clicking the stocks menu, it'll list down all of the stocks that we have. All right, let's get started. Previously, we had successfully integrated Bootstrap 4 with your Angular 2 app. You can open a new tab and then type Bootstrap 4 Navbar. And then click this. It will direct you to the Navbar page of Bootstrap. Let's scroll down. You can see here different examples of Bootstrap 4 menus. You have a simple one, something like this. And you can also have different color schemes. You have black, blue, or light blue. The keyword for navigation bar is navbar, as you can see over here. Let's scroll down a bit. You can also set a collapsible content menu, something like this. We also have a responsive navigation bar that responds on different screens. Here's for a little demo. So I have the responsive navigation bar, and then I'm gonna resize the browser's width size. So here, and then make it smaller. Now, you can scroll down, and as you can see, the responsive nav bar has been changed. Alright, now that we have covered the basic of navigation bar, we can now proceed to add our menu in our Angular 2 app. First, so we go back up. If you may have noticed, the menus are not aligned. To fix this, just resize your screen. Just type command, shift, and minus. And one more. And now it's fixed. We will gonna add this blue menu in our Angular 2 app. First, so we go back up. In the support content, Simply copy this code. Then let's head back to our Visual Studio IDE. Go to app.component.html. Previously, we added NGB alert and the date. Also, we also had directives for highlight. These items are not needed anymore, so we can safely delete this. So here, let me delete this. And then we can paste our navigation bar code. Here, you have to enclose this code in your div container class. So just type div class and then container fluid. Then let's add the end tag. Now, we're ready to customize our menu. Go to navbrand and then type Angular Finance. Second, we have to delete these two menu items, the pricing and about. Then, let's rename features to stocks. And then, copy paste this shutter link to here. Just overwrite href. Now, we successfully added a router link from Angular 2 to the menu item from Bootstrap 4. We can now safely delete a router link. The Angular Finance Home 
stocks, and search are usually defined menu items, so feel free to change them. You can change to Angular app, or you can also change this to stocks with some more letters. But totally, it's up to you. Lastly, save the document. You're now ready to see a new menu. Go back to your browser, and you can now see the new look and feel of your Angular 2 application. Click Stocks, and you can see here the list of stocks that we have from our stocks component. Now that we have verified that our Bootstrap 4 menu is working, we can now customize it. Let's make our menu color blue. Just go back to the Bootstrap 4 website, and then just scroll down. We're going to use the navbar dash dark color scheme. To use it, simply copy this and then head back to your IDE. Here, simply paste it and then save. And it's done. Simply head back to the browser. And now our menu has been changed to color blue. Let's click again the stocks. In our succeeding lessons, we will further customize our menu and add the search functionality.